you guys, what is going on? Uh, I'm here today. Look at all those fighters taking off. I'm here today. Let me get rid of this frame rate. Frame rate pole. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm here today comparing Star Wars Battlefront 2 to the um, to the new Star Wars Battlefront beta. And since they don't really have a conquest mode out for the beta, the best thing I can do is set it to XL mode, which is pretty much just a really big deathmatch on Hoth. And that, uh, you know, it's probably the most comparable to the beta that you can get. But, um, they're, they're decently different still. But, I mean, they're, pr they're pretty similar. Just pretty much kill as many other people as you can and get rid of the, the fucking walkers uh but there did something spawn in yeah so that's i think that's the best way to compare the two things right now but when once the game comes out it'll be a lot easier to compare conquest to uh whatever the i forget strong some i don't know i forget what it's called the game mode that's supposed to copy conquest but for now, this should be good enough. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be looking at pretty much the main differences. Give me that shit. The main differences between uh, Battlefront 2 and the new Battlefront. And uh, one of the major first things that you can see right here is that in order to get a vehicle you don't just uh, go running around and you you don't just find a pickup hidden in a not really hidden but that spawns in different areas and whoever gets there first gets the oh shit whoever gets there first gets the uh, the vehicle in this there they spawn the vehicle itself spawns in set locations and actually can have a crew in it depending on the vehicle and uh, whoever gets to that spot first, or waits at that spot for the vehicle to spawn in, gets it. And whoever second can be the gunner, pretty much. Oh, I can play as Pilot Luke. Here's a, I don't know how uh, how the whole Jedi system works in uh, the new game. I think it's the same as this. Whoever's doing the best eventually gets offered a chance to play as the Jedi. But I, I think I picked up a Jedi, like... Uh, drop or whatever at a set up uh, this hidden pl uh, place once and I, I never actually got to use it because I died because I fucking suck but uh yeah I think it said like a Jedi hero pickup or some shit so I think you can actually still pick them up off the ground in the new game look at all this shit going on oh fuck Pilot Luke is ripped but uh, yeah. This this is there's so much shit going on here compared to the new game. I mean, the new game has a lot more detail in its graphics. But I mean, look at the, look at all these people. Look at all these fucking people. And then at the same time, they're still pouring down from from the actual base. Planes are coming in. There's still plenty of men. Pouring over this hill, I think. Nah, there's a couple. But this is just this is a huge battle. I wish that the uh, the new game didn't max out at 40, but the way the maps are designed make it feel a lot like this. So yeah, that works. It works pretty well. Um. Yeah, pr the something new in the new game is like special grenades kind of in this you uh you spawn in and you uh here i'll show respawn you spawn in and you choose a class you choose uh between a, a normal soldier a rocket soldier a sniper a person with a shotgun and if you do well enough you can become a wookie with a crossbow or a spy that they're incinerator and uh, same, you know, on any team, that's how it works, you have classes. In the new game, it's more like Battlefield, where you, depending on how many people you kill and objectives you 
accomplish, you, uh, here, can I change my team? I don't think so. Depending on how many enemies you kill and objectives you accomplish, you, uh, get money, pretty much. And with that money, you can buy new types of grenades or new, uh, new blasters. Oops, that was a team kill. New blasters and, uh, you know, pretty much anything that that's how you upgrade your stuff. It doesn't go by get five kills in this match and then you can play as the lieutenant or something. You know, it's kill 900 people through your whole career and you can buy a light machine gun. So, uh, that's, that's pretty different. Um, it's not necessarily bad, but it's not the traditional Battlefront way. And, uh, it's, that's a pretty big, you know, thing, honestly. Um, in terms of, v here, let me restart this so I can play as the Empire. In terms of vehicles, you, uh, I think you just pause, I don't know. This is my first time using Shadow Play, by the way. I'm just testing it out, seeing... You know, if it can, if it can really outperform Fraps by a shitload, because everybody says it can. But uh, yeah, so that's a pretty. This is a pretty big difference from getting rid of the classes and going to a fully customizable loadout. But uh, oh, I hit him. Oh shit, that's not zoom in. Oh, uh, watch out, don't run into it, you asshole. But yeah, so in this game, it's pretty much... I, I, I like how they did the vehicles better, I think, in the new game. Even though it makes less... It's not as dramatic. I, I don't know, I guess it's not as, like, you have a base that you're defending that you can pump vehicles out of and stuff, but it makes it more fair. Because in this, one person would run and get into the ATAT. -AT, and just fucking wreck shop and live forever and then eventually they get dropped and maybe they'd be able to get back in the ATAT -AT straight away again but in the new game you're limited to 60 seconds in the ATAT -AT, which is uh... I think a good idea and uh... these you find like instead of an ATST spawning in back behind us you uh would find a drop, you know, somewhere, say, in the middle of the map, and if you pick it up first, you call it in, and then it puts you in control of one that's marching onto the battlefield. So I, I, don't, I don't know which vehicle system is better. I think it really depends on, you know, what's going on. But that's not really, you know, I expected that to be different. In a way, I don't know. It, it, it's the... It's not as big as the classes, but uh, it's a it's a definitely a difference. But yeah, these are pretty big battles. Need to be. The chicken walker. The new game is definitely more, uh, you have to think about what you're doing, as opposed to just run and gun. Get Darth Vader. This is Lord Vader. force choke people. I haven't played as the Jedi's yet in the new game, so I, ha I can't really say what it's like. Well, I fucked Lord Vader up. I suck. Throw your shit. Ah. Bullet straight to the face. But, yeah, I think that, that gives a pretty I good idea of how uh, this game plays. So, I'm gonna hop over to the new Star Wars Battlefront and we'll 
see how that is. Hello, you guys. We are here in the new Star Wars Battlefront. And, uh, I got me the Xbox Un controller. And I think I'm gonna leave the, the frame rate on just to show the optimization of this beta. If it shows in the video, I don't know if it will. So yeah, in this you, you get to choose cards, like uh, I said, with money. You, uh, you buy a jump pack, a shield, an ion grenade, a normal grenade, a sniper rifle, you know, whatever it is, and you put it in your hand. And you can carry one, like, power-up, kind of, and two of these things. Two, like, a jump pack and an ion grenade, or, like, a, si a sniper rifle and a normal grenade, like I have. This will also have the, uh, the other game mo the other, yeah, mode of, uh, try and capture all the points. But what's in the beta here is destroy the walkers. That's the main goal. In in XL mode, that's one of the main goals too. But it's done differently here. Instead of uh, circling around the plane, the walkers and fighters and trying to rope it, you uh you have to actually attack it during certain times when it's vulnerable and uh just shoot it as much as possible pretty much uh, it works pretty well I think I think it's pretty fun and you can hold down on the d-pad and go into third person or a V just like in the normal battlefront too oh he got sniped taking his ass out Oh shit, oh shit, oh! Airstrike. These things look amazing. Look at that. Oh god! This game is runs great. And uh, it looks great, it sounds great. I think the design on all the weapons, everything is great. Everything about visuals, any aesthetics in this game is just perfect, I think. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think the maps are laid out really well for the game styles they're going for. Okay, here's how you attack the walkers. This, now it's exposed. And you're- ah, oh, damn it. When the guns overheat, you have a, a chance to, um, to press X at a certain point, or I don't know what it is on the keyboard, but the same thing. And, uh, cool it down. Okay, well those things aren't defenseless anymore. Oh! <laughs> I got fucked up. I'll be- I'll definitely do a gameplay of this too, really soon. But, uh, this is just, you know, seeing how it stacks up against the, the originals. Damn. One thing I noticed is, uh, in battle, in the normal battle fronts, I almost only wanted to play in third person, whereas in this game, I have a really, really tough time choosing between third and first person, which is a good thing. A lot of people think that's a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing that both work so well. Because I like the first person in the, the uh, original game, it's just that it wasn't... I don't know, it wasn't optimized well. It didn't feel like that's how it was supposed to be played. Whereas this, it's really up to you. They both work great. Um, something that wasn't even in, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just sneaking behind this. What I really like are these footprints that it leaves. That's awesome. Oh, God. Oh, teammates, get him. They got him. But I, lo I love these footprints. Just everything, everything visually in this game is amazing. I mean, I can't even find a, a power up anywhere. Uh, whatever the, whatever, I don't know what they're called. Little drops on the floor. Let's bust out the sniper. The guns look really, really good too. And I mean, even though it's, uh, 
way less than uh, the Battlefront 2. Yeah, as you saw it. XL mode. Damn it. I got him, though. Yeah, I'm not doing very well. I can't really talk and play. But, uh, well, I don't know. That's just a fucking excuse. I just suck. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God for that fight. Oh, well, I died anyway. Yeah, I think the game plays pretty well, actually, but, uh, I think it- actually, I think it plays great. It's one of the better first-person shooters. Oh, I already have a power-up. But, uh, it's one of the better first-person shooters I've played. It's just, I don't know how true to the battlefront, you know, experience it is. I, th I kind of feel like they put Battlefront on it just to sell, but uh, it's so hard to tell because it's it's just enough like Battlefront or like Battle yeah Battlefront to uh fuck it's just enough like Battlefront to be considered a Battlefront, but at the same time it's so different that if it was considered its own game. Here, look, here, I'll show you, okay. So this spawns here. Pick it up. Call in support, and then you uh, just fly in off map. As opposed to how the fighters were before. Something that is not... I really, really like the vehicles in this game, too. They play awesome. They control so well. First person mode. Holy shit, that looked really weird. First person mode is harder though. Oh shit. Direct all firepower on that walker. Oh, the walkers. Got him. Is he going down? I don't think so. Oh, well, there he went. Darth Vader! Holy shit! <laughs> They're trying to get a lock on you. Fuck you, Darth! <laughs> I got him. I killed myself, but Darth is dead. Oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. That was a bad place to spawn. I like how you can start right on your partner though, so you can choose to come in at the spawn and try to pick up a power-up or a vehicle or something. Or you can choose- see it here, uh, another example. Instead of being defended in, in the bunker, this guy's gonna run up, crouch down, and he's gone. Now he's in the plane. I, I think that actually works pretty well. I don't, again though, I don't know how close someone would consider it to the original game. Oh, there's. <gasps> shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ugh. Bomber locked in. Ugh. Didn't make it out. <laughs> I mean, just look at this, this screen. Look at this battle. I mean, even though it's nowhere near the amount of people as there were on XL the detail makes up for you know just look at that <laughs> and it looks like a Star Wars battle oh 
fuck, fuck, get inside the thing, ugh. Our bomber has a lock on the walker. Just like the trailer. Oh, and I got an airspeeder. How did that happen? I was just crouched on where it spawns in, I guess. Fucking really, you dickhead? Fuck you, you asshole. Eat my shit. Whatever, still killed him. Eat my LMG. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, they're exposed. Oh, I, we lost the shit out of this. Damn it. Yeah, we lost it. We need to kill these things right now or they're gonna get to our, uh, to our thing. Oh, we killed one. We got one. Yes, we got both. Yes. Fuck yeah. We fucking won. I thought we lost. Killed their asses. Look at the carcasses. The wreckage. I didn't do very well, but, you know, I did good enough. Yeah, so, I, I really don't know how to call it. I, uh, it's a great, it's really, fu it's a really fun game, and I'm honestly shocked that EA did such a good job on a game like ever like this is a good game and EA made it like what the, the holy shit is the fucking like the Armageddon coming like fuck <laughs> never thought I would say EA made a good game ever again but I mean it happened that just goes to show anything is possible I mean maybe humans can walk on Mars one day but well that's a stupid fucking thing of course they're gonna walk on Mars one day Maybe without a suit. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to call it. I, I think that... Uh, it's... Close enough to resemble the earlier games. But I think going from Battlefront to Battlefront 2. And then from Battlefront 2 to this. Completely changed paths that it went from Battlefront to Battlefront 2. I think this completely went on its own direction, but it's still reminiscent of the older games. That uh, definitely has its influences from Battle, you know, Battlefield and, you know, the newer, just overall newer FPS games. So, uh, I don't know, I think it's a really fun game, and I'm gonna for sure get it, but I wish that there were maybe some some options to make it a little more like the original game, like with vehicles spawning in at certain locations and classes. Those two things, if there was a game mode with those two things, then it would be perfectly, it would be unquestionably a Battlefront. But right now, I think it's just reminiscent of a Battlefront and is more of its own thing. But, uh, but yeah, the main thing is here, I'm gonna show you right fucking now. The main thing that I don't like about it, missions. Give us some more goddamn missions. I don't just want survival on four maps and that's all I can do in single player. Like, no. Give us some shit to do. Like, all the other Star Wars battle- that- I never even noticed that fucker back there, the squid face guy. That's fucking cool, but uh... Yeah. Uh, what's it called? I, I fucking, I'm stupid. I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, no, give us more missions. Give us shit to do in single player. Give us something. Give us more missions. And don't make them a paid DL fucking C. Just put something single player in the game, apart from survival, please. Then it would be amazing 9.5 out of 10. You know, it'd be fucking great. But anyway... At this point, I'm just rambling, so, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, why not check out my other videos, they're pretty similar to this one, but, uh, if you don't want to, if you're not inclined to, then obviously, you probably wouldn't have subscribed anyway, so, 
thanks for watching. If you're leaving the channel forever, then, then bye, I guess. But you made me sad. And if you're coming back, then yeah, I'll see you later. Peace! Opposed to just run and gun. new game didn't max out at 40 but the way the maps are designed make it feel a lot like this so yeah that worked it works pretty well um yeah pr the something new in the new game is like special grenades kind of you can hold down on the D-pad and go into third person, or a V, just like in the normal Battlefront 2. Oh, he got sniped. Taking his ass out. Oh shit, oh shit, oh! Airstrike differences between uh, Battlefront 2 and the new Battlefront. And uh, one of the major first things that you can see right here is that in order to get a vehicle, you don't just uh, go running around and you, you don't just find a pickup hidden in a, not really hidden, but that spawns in different areas and whoever gets there first gets the, oh shit, whoever gets there first gets the, uh, the vehicle in this there they spawn the vehicle itself spawns in set locations and actually so this spawns here pick it up call in support and then you uh, just fly in off map as opposed to how the fighters were before something that is I really really like the vehicles in this game too they play awesome they control so well watch for imperial counter attack Got him. Is he going down? I don't think so. Oh, well, there he went. 